all the kids watching, I just think we'll show them where all the little engines sleep at night. This is a uh, the two. It's always the two, isn't it? Like that's the size of yeah. Uh, we have two yeah. appliances based here in Greystones: water carrier and our main firefighting appliance. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. Now, two things. I think we will. We'll, first, uh, we'll, we'll mention you, you're talking about. It will come to that time of year when, when of course, places like woodlands and gorse bushes and all that. It's a, it's a dangerous time of year. Just for people, you were going to say maybe to watch out. For yeah. So we're now we're on the May Bank Holiday weekend. Now we're just our our. Uh, wildland firefighting season is just starting. We've already had a couple of calls up to the Wicklow Mountains. So as the people of Greystones are aware, we had very serious fires around this area last year, particularly on Brayhead and in the Winegates area. We want to try and encourage people to be more vigilant this year in relation to those fires. So if you're out on the beautiful hills that we have, just be a little bit more vigilant in relation to campfires, in relation to discarding cigarettes and right. uh, cooking while you're out on these walks. Little things like that. And if there's any, if you observe any behaviour that's going on that you think is not quite right, please report it. Because right. at the end of the day, to fight these big fires costs an awful lot of money. And yeah. that's taxpayers' money. And, you know, we should be more, a little bit more vigilant for it. Sure. They are, all fires are preventable. And thank God, like, I mean, last year, outrageous, four days, but nobody was hurt. But you never know with these situations. It is, you know, uh, it's just an unknown. When fires start to spread, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Last year on Brayhead, we had 35 houses threatened. Wow. Luckily, with the resources that we were able to deploy at the end, there was no issues. But we had 35 houses threatened. We had a, a potential. We had to evacuate houses on the Saturday. Um, and those people weren't allowed back into their houses until, until late on the Sunday afternoon. They were, they were all disturbed. So, you know, that's what we're trying to avoid. Luckily, right. and thank God, last year we were able to work to prevent those properties from being destroyed. And we had no injuries, which was great. Yeah, um, amazing work. Yeah. yeah. Now, and the other piece of news. This, this is a happy bit of news. You've got how many of these guys have you? Have you got? Okay. So Wicklow Fire Service um, has a, a stock of these smoke alarms. Yeah. And we all know uh, smoke alarms save lives, but we have statistics that come out from the, uh, the department every year in relation to deaths in Ireland. And just some of those statistics that come out uh, is uh, elderly people uh, living alone in rural areas um, are um, high on the statistic list of being a threat from fire. So we've had a couple of fires lately where we have uh, fire alarms have been activated, smoke detectors have been activated, and the property has been saved and also no harm has come to the occupant. So what I'm saying to the, to the uh, community in Greystones who are, who are living alone or who are elderly, that we in the fire service here have smoke alarms and we will go and fit them for them. And they can contact me here locally in the station or they can contact the local authority office down on Mill Road in Greystones at two eight seven double six nine four, or contact me here in the fire station and we'll happily go out and smith a, fit a smoke alarm in their property for them. Oh, that's brilliant. I'll, I'll, I'll embed the, uh, the, the the actual, you know, uh, any kind of uh, phone numbers and, and emails and all that though they can yeah. quickly and easily get get in touch. And that's fantastic. You'll be able to go out and actually fit it for them and it's, the, it'll the be... The crew here in Greystones, no problem. We'll go and fit them. The fit is very, very quick. A couple of minutes and we'll have them up and running and we'll have the property safe and we'll give them a quick instruction on just how pressing the red button and just making sure that it's Boom. working so that's all that, and we'll do that for them and then we can go back every year and check on them as well but it, it, it they will save lives and they have Brilliant. been proven to save lives and we have them for the community if they want them nicely done well done and i think we should finish by saying what another gorgeous another beautiful day beautiful we have here. beautiful weekend lovely day max isn't it yes it is